Okay, well, this is the first emblem tutorial for DAOW. Um, today we will be learning how to realistically shade and engrave in the Black Ops 2 emblem editor. Okay, first off, I'm going to start by selecting our background color. I'm just going to make it a random color, let's say orange, and we're going to put it as the very first thing, so it's always in the background. Now, now that we went to the very last thing, we're going to add in the shading, because the shading will be overlaying everything else. So, to do shading, you want to pick an emblem where the center is, like, able to be exploded and still be seen on the screen. For this I'm choosing the like headshot marker and I'm gonna put it to the side you see how it's feathering in there so it looks like a nice fade then we're gonna mess with the opacity a little bit to go ahead and like dull it so it's not completely overwhelming. I'm gonna add in a couple of these just for the fact that I want to look realistic and in reality there are multiple light sources in every place. Um, and plus the light bounces off stuff so let me just finish up with this. I'm going to do a highlight here so that you can actually see but I use yellow because yellow is the highlight for orange. You could also use white but I use yellow for that. Okay, back to the second slide here. Now I'm going to start showing you the engraving process. I'm just going to use this random shape here because it looks nice. At least I think so. I'm going to make it a color, just one shade lighter. And then I am going to copy it and paste it above it. Then I'm going to change this to black. And I'm going to mess with the opacity so it blends in perfectly with the background. Then I'm going to just twitch it to the side in a little bit. See, I'm just like maneuvering it so it's slowly showing. You can move it up or down depending on which side you want to be lighter and which side you want to be darker. You can also mess around with the first part of the emblem, the layer 2 right now. And actually move that away so it's more centered if you want to keep everything centered. But you can do this with multiple shapes as I'm going to show you. Let me just select a new one. I'm going to do the letters. I hate how the W is always just a tiny bit smaller. No matter what I use. See that compared to the I. So I'm going to have to enlarge the W a bit just for that. As soon as I get this right we'll move on. Okay, I'm just going to move these over, and I'm going to make it say win, just because I can. You can do whatever you want here, or anywhere. Okay, give me one second. Okay, did not mean to do that. I'm going to change the color now. I'm going to make it green just to show you how to engrave it when you have different shapes. It's a bit lengthy of a process compared to the other way, but it's worth it if you want to mix shades and you have enough space. First I'm going to duplicate everything two times, then I'm going to change the color of one set of win to um, white, I believe, or black, I mean. And then I'm going to change the other color to white. Now I'm just going to move this to the side. Just like I did for when I was moving the overlay. I'm just going to move it and get it all nice and pretty. Once you get to the place you want, you just start messing with the other color. And get that to where you want. Almost done. 
almost there. No, quite right on the W, let me fix that. Sometimes I'll spend like 10 minutes just tweaking them, but I'm trying to make this fast. As you can see, it already has a sort of indent feature. But there's a little bit more to it. You want to mess with the opacity, get it right. And then it'll like give it the color of the background that it's shading into so it looks more realistic. Because when you're engraving, you're not engraving into a black and white surface. Like when you cut in, it won't be black or white on the pushed in part. It'll be a shade of white and a sh I mean a shade of the background color um, and a highlight of the other background. For the background color also on the other side though. Usually I like to keep it in the corners, it makes it look nice. If you, you can also move it from left to right, but it doesn't give it as much definition. But let me just finish tweaking these. As you can see, now that like you're not physically looking at the shading, it looks a lot better than it originally did. Like it looks nice shaded in like that. Let's get another M little emblem picture hmm. what do I want to use okay I guess I'll use the hazard side um I'm gonna put this behind win and show you that it works with engraving like engravements into other engravements I'm to orange just so it looks nice and I don't feel like adding in so many different layers just put that right in front there we're just gonna do the shadow technique we mess with the opacity just gotta get it to look as close as possible to the color behind it and get ready to tweak it start tweaking it see how that just pops every time it just gives that nice definition. Here's what I was talking about with that center thing. I want to keep that like virtually center. So it doesn't look weird with the wind being centered. I got that right. I'll move on. Still got a lot of space left. If you ever want to come to my profile and actually look at this. Um, all my emblems. I am D A O W Dark Angel. Leave some likes on anything that you'd like to see in the next YouTube video. I can redo all my emblems. They're not recreations. I just made them myself. I did get inspiration from other emblem creators, but they are made myself gonna add some stars in here just to make it look nice you always want your emblems to look nice I have about 26 of them I think <laughs> at the point in time I, that I'm making this video I'm gonna keep it star centered in the middle of that I'm gonna add in three stars in all three positions on that gotta keep it behind the wind When, I'm, when you're done watching the video, please leave a like and possibly subscribe if you want to see some more. I'll be trying to do more emblem tutorials. I'm just doing the basics now I'm starting with, and then I'm going to go into actual emblems that I can create. One last star. Shut center in the middle. See, even though there's a lot of engraving, it still just looks nice and pops no matter how many you add.
Yeah, this emblem's just a quick throw together, but it works. I hope you enjoyed. Um, video's almost over. So, I'm just gonna mess around. Just Maybe I'll change. Nah, never mind. Um, well, have fun. If you want more tutorials, make sure to like this and subscribe. Okay, goodbye.